22 days, 22 days, 20, 20, 22 days. <laughs> of everything. A little bit of Michigan water crises. Uh, a little bit of what Jordan and Ryan love. Um, some gluten-free vegan banana brownie things. Just kind of a, whoo, a little bit of everything. Sober and still can't walk. <laughs> oh yeah. So let's talk a little bit about this um, new development in Michigan water crises. Um, we are in an area that the PFAs are too high. There's 1,410 parts per million, or per trillion, excuse me, 1,410 parts per trillion um, in our area, and the EPA recommends no more than 70 parts per trillion. So, um, unfortunately, we are just showering in our water right now. We have gallons of water that we're brushing our teeth with. We have bottles of water that we're drinking. So, um, they have called a state of emergency, which is more than they did for Flint to begin with. Um, I guess because they have to, but Governor Schneider and Lieutenant Governor Kelly, please, come on. We're the largest source of fresh water in the U.S. And we keep screwing this up with military and industrial areas. Um, military and industrial areas are necessary. Um, we need them, but uh, yeah, so just an update on our situation. We are leaving in 22 days, and um, so, you know, we won't be in Michigan much longer, but this will forever hold a place in my heart. This is where I grew up. So I hope that Michigan is just about done having water crisis because it's getting old. So hopefully our water will be better soon, but that's what's going on right now. So awesome, yeah. A way cooler note, um, I wanted to show you a little bit about what Jordan and Ryan love to do. Just because they're my babies and I got to show them off a little bit so let's go to that. So first I wanted to show you a couple of videos of Jordan skating. Um, Jordan has been skating for a really long time at least since he was like 11 or 12 and um, yeah he's really good. He um, loves Thrasher and Vans and all the other name brands and stuff like that and um, I'm really looking forward to him coming down to Florida and going to the Volcom store with us in Disney Springs. Um, and then there is another store in Universal City Walk and crap, I can't remember what name brand that is, but I want to take them there too. So anyway, without further ado, here's a few clips of my 16 year old shredding some skating, yo, or however you put that. Please say you've heard of a place I can fly where nothing's impossible. That's where I gotta go. They said the only way up was to get in line. I'm telling you that somebody lied. As someone who's been to the other side, learning the lines between earth and mind. She's a lost girl in a lost world, but I know what she's trying to find. Next, I got a little bit of Ryan um, playing Fortnite. He actually doesn't really like being on camera, which surprises me a little bit because he talks a lot on Xbox Live and on Fortnite and stuff to people all over the world and isn't shy about it, but um, yeah, he, I'm oh, sorry, I'm getting ready to go to Walmart, so I'm not with me. Anyway, I have to hurry up and do that before I go to work. So um, yeah, he does that and um, has a lot of fun with it. So, you know, here's a little sneak peek at Ryan playing a little Fortnite. I kind of snuck it. grown-ups out there I know that was really exciting <laughs> but now I'm actually going to show you my um, banana brownie gluten-free thingies so 
Hold on just a second, let me grab so the ingredients. So the four ingredients I'm using today to make these little gems is two bananas. These are very, very ripe. They're a little beat up because Aaron brought them in his lunch and didn't eat them. Shame on him. Um, <laughs> peanut butter. Actually, my favorite thing to make this with is um, sunflower seed butter. Um, so for those of you with peanut allergy, you can definitely make this with sunflower seed butter. Have some maple syrup. That's not necessary, but I like it. Oh, and... Vanilla, la, 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 la. I'm gonna put some vanilla in and some cocoa powder. This can have a lot of variances. Um, you have to have the bananas, you have to have the either peanut butter, almond butter, sunflower seed butter, or whatever kind of butter you want. But um, the vanilla and the maple syrup are optional. You can use whatever sweetener you want, agave syrup or no sweetener at all. And the cocoa powder is not so optional because that's what makes them brownies. But anyway. That's what we're starting with. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like when it's mixed up. This is two bananas, half a cup of peanut butter, but again, you can use sunflower seed butter, almond butter, anything like that. A couple of tablespoons of maple syrup, three tablespoons of cocoa. You can use less than that if you don't want it as chocolatey, um, and a little bit of vanilla. You can put oats, nuts, raisins, chocolate chips, anything you want in this. And the best part is that you can, mm, Eat it raw, it won't hurt you. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in my glass bowl. I have a little bit of Pam on it. 375 degrees, probably about 15 minutes. Just wait until it's all done thoroughly. I'll show you them when we're done and we'll have a little taste. Okay. Look at that. Mess of cocoa goodness. Oh, I wish you guys had smell a vision It smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna let these cool and we'll cut them up. By the way, a little tip, um, they are super good with cocoa whip on top of them, coconut whipped cream. So I'll have a taste, taste test in a few minutes, go back over the recipe, talk to you guys for a few minutes and wrap up the vlog. Okay, you guys, so I, <laughs> I didn't wait long enough to cut these, but look at this wee gooey mess of brownie. It's so good. It smells amazing. Um, so, you know, we gotta have a little taste test, so. Mm -hmm, oh my God. <laughs> it's like mushy, gooey, chocolatey. By the way, I'm so sorry if anybody has, um, was it mis misophonia or mis whatever the mouth sounds thing. I'm so sorry. I just have to tell you, how incredible, inexpensive, very healthy food can be. My kids love these things. They love them even more with like a vanilla bean sorbet or coconut whipped cream on them. It's incredible. So you definitely don't have to spend a lot of money to be healthy. And um, this is really fun to make with kids. In the summertime, it's easy. 375 degrees in the oven for about 15 minutes, maybe a little less. Make sure it's just a little gooey in the middle still. Um, just like a brownie and it's so good and it's just a hint of banana flavor there not terribly banana-y so anyway thanks for hanging with me today I actually have to get going mm, after I finish my brownie <laughs> um, but thanks so much for hanging with me today you guys are awesome and um, I have no idea what my next vlog will be about just trying to enjoy life and fill space um, between work right now until we head to Florida but anyway you guys are awesome. Fist bump. Boom. And I will see you soon. Until then, flip flops and lollipops. Bye, everybody.